Reach the nightcap in Chassa's baseball quadruple header here at All City Stadium on the Chassa TV network. Fans filing in for 5A state championship action here at All City in Denver, Colorado. The Cherry Creek Bruins. Winners earlier today over the Regis Jesuit Raiders taking on the Legend Titans. The fans coming in, gorgeous weather throughout the weekend of play here on Memorial Day weekend. Fans excited for this one. Josh Gross alongside Neil Devlin with you here on Chassa.tv. And Neil, an established, well-respected Cherry Creek program. And on the other side, Legend Titans looking for their first state title. The top of the first, but Creek gets two across. A leadoff single by Muka. He scores. Milligan, a base knock as well. He comes in. It's 2-0 Bruins as we head to the home half of the first. Take a look now before we jump away at the base knock by Milligan that took the feet out of Hanahan. That was the first run to come in, and Milligan, who had the hit there, scored as well. Here's the Jenkins at bat with the wild pitch that gets away, and that's the one that brought in Milligan. 2 0 Creek. Bottom of the first awaits. Now it's Derek Beaupre's turn on the mound. Hasn't pitched in a month for Coach Johnson's squad. He gets the nod here in the title game. Beaupre, 0 oh 1. Took something off and got Dahlbeck swinging. Beaupre, a 1 2 3 inning. One in the books. 2 0 Creek. Here on Chassa.tv. Yeah, usually the other way around. There's the first hit of the game. Hanahan clapping his hands as he put a nice dent in that one into left center field. It's scooped up by Farrell and a base runner for the Titans with two out here. At the 2 2 swinging. A single by Hanahan. He's stranded at first. Two in the books. Beaupre has held the Titans scoreless. It's 2-0 Bruins. Hanahan to the set. The leadoff second by Muka. He's going. Hit and run action. Dahlbeck oh. gets right through him. Coming in to score is Muka. His second run of the game. Creek up 3-0. It's always about pitching. Yep, as much as hitting may be sexy. Pitching just like that from Beaupre on the strikeout is what gets you to championship weekend and potentially through. R Ross down looking, the number nine man, Jake Gentry, or even with the bat. Hyder tries to sneak in behind the runner. Oh. Right back to Beaupre. Taylor made double play ball to second for one. Back to first, and Beaupre takes care of the runners through three innings of play. It's the Bruins 3-0 after Beaupre induces the inning-ending comebacker to the mound. Very well done. You see what he did there? Caught the grounder, turned, and fired the ball to the bag. The onus is on the, the relay man. The diving catch made by the left fielder tagging from third was the runner. Initially ruled that he left the bag early on the appeal. As sliced to right off the bat of Rindahl, so the leadoff man on for the Bruins for the third time here this evening. With two outs. Looks like Hanahan and the Titans just focusing on the runner at bat. Well, and then also, uh, if Legend is forced enough to get a bunch of runners on base. As Muka sends one to center, it falls in front of Gentry. Bobbled, Muka heading for second on the air. Coming around to score is Rindahl. 4 nothing Cherry Creek. In the air, shallow center. Gentry forced to come far, and it's off of Dahlbeck's glove. Probably should have been the center fielder's ball. It's dropped for the second error of the game by the shortstop. Another run comes in for Creek in the form of Dylan Muka. So he scored three times today. That time coming from second base. Ending up on second is Milligan. So 
for his defensive lapses. Slow grounder, charging Jenkins. Throw across in time. Good play. Good play by the third baseman, Jenkins, getting. Still a tough throw. You got to make the throw. Sack spent years working on it. Popped up. Beaupre after it. Foul territory. Catcher coming to his aid, and Beaupre, the catch and the smile at the Titans' dugout. He's pitched four scoreless innings. It's five to nothing, Beaupre and Cherry Creek. The, there's been like some lulls in the game and stuff like that. It's easy to buy into. Trujillo down on strikes. Beaupre's fourth of the afternoon. And eight outs remaining for Legend. Simply, it, this is basically Game 7 of the World Series as far as it stands. This is the last game of the year. As Beaupre back-to-back -back strikeouts, he gets Ross for the second time today. So you might as well have your guns up and loose. One of our young fans in attendance. Runner going. Taylor with another opportunity after an error an inning ago. Easy chance. A walk, one left. Beaupre's pitched five strong. Mark Johnson gives him congratulations. And to the second baseman, Zach Taylor. The Bruins six outs away from the 5A state title. While we're watching the Coles game. To Dahlbeck. Oh, boy. A game to forget for the junior. He had an error yesterday. He has three errors today. The leadoff man on in Hyder. A single would bring in another run. Milligan to right field. Back is Hanahan over his head. It's in the gap. In to score is Hyder around first and into second with a stand-up double is Milligan. An RBI for the catcher. And the Bruins up 6-0. Just a really, really good shot where he squared up, drove the ball right up the alley. A magical run in the second half of the season for the Titans. Forced to throw down as Milligan, a strikeout to start the sixth for Beaupre. Runner in the second as well when Hanahan reached. You know, it's a nice time for Cherry Creek and Mark Johnson just got to you know, say, look, Derek, there's one out. You need two more. You got two kids on base. Playing behind the runners. And there's a ground ball to short. To his right, Hyder, long throw across the reach and gunned at the base. Is bared in the throw by Hyder. Oh, Beaupre's so thrown hard, harder, and hardest. And that one, he took a lot off, and Hanahan swung through. The 0-2, maybe the hardest pitch of the night from Beaupre, down swinging Hanahan, two left on base for the Titans. 6 nothing. we head to the seventh here on Chassa.tv. How do these kids play for Mark in the summer and other legs? Ripped into the gap in right center field. Beaupre's go. second hit of the day. He's out hitting the Titans himself. The leadoff man on. Bottom of the seventh inning. Derek Beaupre has been the story tonight. A one-hit shutout. Is that on a number of high school fields, football and baseball, the lighting is poor. They don't yep. have enough banks of lights. They really don't. Trujillo's had a night to forget. Doesn't seem phased at all by the situation. Three straight strikeouts, and the Bruins one out away from the state championship. The Cherry Creek faithful on their feet. It's been a long day of baseball for them, but just one hit against. And all zeros on the board for the Titans in the run column. It's really been of no consequence. None whatsoever. The 3-2. Grounder to the second baseman, Taylor. On over to first, Jacks. Cherry Creek, the 5A state champions. They've climbed the mountain with a titanic performance. Two victories today, one over Regis, one over Legend. And Cherry Creek for the eighth time in school history behind Coach Mark Johnson can call itself the best in Colorado. You know, and well done. I mean, listen, I don't think the public out there 
realizes just how difficult it is for these kids to win. I mean, it's an accomplishment. The, the competition they go against is very good. There's ebb and flow into the season. There's changing weather. There's all kinds of things. To actually go out there and do it, make no mistake, you cannot underestimate that accomplishment. It's really wonderful. Scary thought for the opponents next season of the Bruins. Derek Beaupre, who didn't pitch that much this year, has another season left under his belt. He throws a one-hit shutout here on Championship Saturday night of Memorial Day weekend. Congratulations to Mark Johnson and his coaching staff and the Cherry Creek Bruins overall. Now here's something as you're watching that's imperative on a high school level. No matter what happens, this comes from an educational background you must give some credence to your opponent. They must have done something to beat you. I don't think going through the lines and shaking hands and wishing the other well, win or loss, is too much to ask. You know? Well, they're out there crossing the infield right now. High fives and some hugs from some of the guys. Dylan Mooka, the leadoff man, the center fielder, scored three runs. He got on the first three times he was up. But the story today is Derek Beaupre. In four plate appearances, he goes two for three. He out hits the Titans himself. And his pitching performance is one for the ages, Neil. Well, Derek has proven himself a wonderful player. I mean, you take a, you know, I mean, besides the fact that he hadn't thrown that much recently, listen, this is a guy who has all this hype, and he was doing it for a while, beyond the halfway mark of the season. And then trust me, he had his cold spell here where he wasn't doing much at the plate. To his credit, I guess is what I'm telling you, he didn't take it with him to the mound. He went out there for his team, threw the ball, and he was fine. What type of confidence boost does this give to him, knowing that his coach, in the biggest game of the year, had confidence to give him the ball? Oh, well, it's immense. I mean, let's, let's uh, remember, it's Mark Johnson. Listen, Mark Johnson knows what's going on in Colorado high school baseball. Period, end of story. These are the little nuanced things that he knows and reacts to accordingly. Now, uh, for Derek, it must make him feel very good that a guy with Johnson's stature did just that for him. Certainly one of the most legendary coaches in Colorado sports history is Mark Johnson, a U.S. Olympic national team U18 coach, and he's been with the Bruins for four decades. He celebrates an eighth national title as the hardware given to the Cherry Creek squad donning the gray uniforms with royal blue trim. And for Cherry Creek, yet another state title this season. The dominance continues for the school of nearly 4,000. Yeah, you know what, too, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, you know, there's stories here and there about him, but I mean, I gotta tell you, I always thought Cherry Creek knew how to lose before it knew how to win. They win a lot. They don't have a lot of problems in that area. I mean, you know, people can argue that and everything, but listen, these guys are okay. Sometimes it doesn't go their way. Sometimes it goes against them, or other people just assumes that it's that way. Listen, these guys know how to handle themselves. They just do it as a school. Uh, it's a wonderful academic institution. It's been there forever. It it's the target. It takes a lot of crap in that area. And then conversely for legend, I mean, you know, first taste of what it takes to, you know, to go and do something big time. And these kids will remember that, you know, for as long as they live, and they should. It's first state title a game in any sport. Congratulations to Coach Scott Fellers and his crew, the national, or the, excuse me, the state runner-ups here in 5A and 19 and 6. Season is the finish. The Cherry Creek Bruins 24 and 3. A team celebration by home plate. That'll do it for us. This presentation has been brought to you by the Play on Sports Network. For our producer, Brandon and Neil Devlin, I'm Josh Gross. Our entire camera crew saying so long from All City Stadium. Championship game films available on DVD at prepfilms.com. Great to have you with us throughout the broadcast. The Cherry Creek Bruins behind a one-hit shutout from Derek Beaupre. 6-0 the victors. State championship number eight.